the Armed Forces of the United States of America, it is Thanksgiving week, and it is our great honor to be here today to say thank you for your service here at the tip of the spear, Al-Assad Air Base, Iraq. Give yourselves a round of applause. America's proud of every single one of you. Because I know they're the home front heroes, and they're keeping things going at home. So if you would please, the next time you talk to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your spouse, your kids, your parents, tell them that we are so grateful for their service as well. Thanks, everybody. Here at Al-Assad Air Base, you prove every day what the world knows. The armed forces of the United States are the greatest force for good the world has ever known, and you are that force. Today, in budget negotiations with Congress, I'm proud to report to you that we're fighting to secure another pay raise for the men and women in our military, and it'll be the biggest in nine years. We're going to keep it coming. But we need Congress to do their job. My fellow Americans gathered here, the truth is Congress should have finished their work on defense appropriations months ago. But you all know that partisan politics and endless investigations have slowed things down a bit in Washington, D.C., but I'll make you a promise. This President, this Vice President, and our administration will never stop fighting until we get you, our troops, the resources you need to accomplish your mission and defend this nation. So help me God. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. 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 Thank you.